Um, first of all, I'd like to really thank Steve for, and the, the committee that brought me here. Uh, it's been really fun to have 7,000 square feet to fill with my work, and I hope you're all enjoying it. Um, Steve asked me to explain a little bit about where the work comes from and sort of to sort of contextualize what it is that you're experiencing here. And uh, as, a, as a sort of a, a pretext, contemporary art, which is really great that a space like this in Tulsa exists to promote contemporary art. Contemporary art, as those of you who would know, is about art as experience. It's not about art as the object. And so the art here is your experience of it. This is not a work of art. The way that you experience it is the art. And that is what art is from a contemporary perspective. And so art is not a piece of ceramics. Art is your experience of that piece of ceramics, which is based on your knowledge, it's based on your understanding of it. And all of that is based on the context within which it is in. If you experience a work of something, then you, if you could have an art experience in a coffee shop. Because it's not the thing, it's your experience of the thing. So that is, again, that's the context of all of this work that you're seeing. That's, that's, a, that's the basic foundation of all of this work. Now, also, I am a gra my, my training is from graphic design. And graphic design as a subset of design in general is very much about creating relationships. If you think about something that is designed, something that is intended to have meaning, it's based on creating a relationship, such as you see a stop sign. You have a relationship to that object, to that thing, to that experience, which tells you to do something. It has a meaning. Designers create that meaning. So if you think about design, just as art as experience, design is relationships. And this might be a little bit of, a, of an abstract concept, but if, if you think about it, you experience the world and you relate it to yourself, which is based on your knowledge, what you know of the world, right? Which based on your experience of the world. So you walk into an art gallery, you have a certain expectation, which is based on your knowledge. Therefore, you relate whatever you're experiencing to that knowledge. You go out in the world and, and anything you do, you pick up a bill and it is typography, it's paper, it's a thing. You relate it to your experience, to your knowledge. It is designed. And that is a relationship, right? So design is very much about creating that relationship. And anything that you know is based on a relationship to something else. You don't know life without death. You don't know love without hate. Everything exists in this polar opposite in this relationship, right? So designers, because myself as coming from a designer, that's how I approach the world, and that's how I approach creating meaning and affecting meaning. So we got art as experience and design as relationships, right? So the next is this show, which is titled Translationships. Because what I'm doing here as a designer or artist or whatever you want to call me, because in contemporary practice, nobody gives a crap what you call yourself. You just make things, you make experiences. You're a designer, you're an artist, you're a printmaker, you're an electronics technician, you're whatever. You are making things. You're a maker of culture, you're a maker of things, you're a, make, you're a maker of those experiences. And so my, th this show is very much about, I'm translating your relationship to things. That's what I'm exploring here. And these are all different experiment, experiments in that. Whether it's a relationship to technology via a computer hard drive that you all have in your computer at home. I've changed your relationship to that object by making it an audiovisual experience. I've taken the covers off and I've shown them to you in an array. I've choreographed a performance of these hard drives. Right? So I'm translating your relationship to something. That's where the title of the show comes from. Every one of these things is a translation of a relationship that you have to something. Whether it's an audio-visual relationship by doing the works in video, you have a visual experience 
like a bulldozer doing nothing, wasting wasting money for whoever he's working for by sitting there and texting on his phone. I've created, I've added a soundtrack so that you have a different relationship to that experience. Whether it's a piece like this, the cursive language, which 40 out of 50 of the states adopting the Common Core uh, curriculum are phasing out. Students and young children may never know cursive handwriting. I'm translating computer input, something that is being taught, into cursive. I'm translating your relationship of something. Right? So, what, and whether it is this project, which is the Vista Sands project, very different type of work, where myself and a collaborator created what's called wood type, you can see it over there, for letterpress, and we sent it out. We sent out the word touch because it's about that physical relationship to 20 different international letterpress printers and artists around the world. And they translated the wood type and the paper we sent, which was donated, into an edition of prints. And that's what you see over there, is their translation of what we sent them. Right? So, or whether it's the mirror piece over there, which translates a Craigslist RSS feed of, of misconnections, which is this crazy RSS feed about, I saw you at the Wawa, or I don't know if you have Wawa's here, I saw you at the, at the store, and I was wearing the red shirt, let me know if you saw me. It's kind of futile, it's kind of ridiculous, right? I don't, I mean, maybe some of you subscribe to it, whatever, but um, that idea of this futile communication, I'm putting your image into that. You're only seeing that through your own image. That's why it's called mirror. You're mirroring, it is mirroring your image in somebody else's words. So I'm translating your image, I'm translating those words. You understand? So all of these works are just different experiments in how to translate meaning, how to create meaning, how to just muck with things, how to create different experiences for all of you people. Because as a designer, I'm more interested in the in experiences that I'm creating than the objects that I'm making. And so again, that's why it's a contemporary art practice, design, whatever you want to call it. Let's go engineer. Um, there's quite a bit of electronics and engineering here. I got to credit my father, who's a retired DuPont mechanical engineer, who helped me create this thing. I've trained him on how to learn Arduino language, how to learn G-code, how to learn all that other stuff, which is great. It keeps his Alzheimer's at bay. Um, and so all of these pieces are very much about that different translations of different things. Um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them about individual pieces. Um, I didn't talk about everything here, about whether it's the piece over there, which is uh, Naked Truth, which is actually um, very, uh, it's sort of a sketch. It's an exper experiment for me. It's very much a sketch. The soundtrack is the birth of my son. His first sound, yes, I had an audio recorder during my wife doesn't know, actually, that I have this piece in the show. Um, I had an audio recorder at the birth, and those are his first actual, this is who's four now, those are the first actual sounds that he ever made in this world. And it is played through, is looping through a tape player that has been exposed, it's naked to the world, just as his, just as he came into the world, naked to the world. So that is, again, that's another translation of your experience to an object, and just, something about being new to the world. Um, so do kind of you have pieces. a certain perspective on the way technology is affecting humans, or are you just saying, this is what I see and you interpret it? Much more the latter. Um, yeah, this is, I, I have experiences with things, and as a designer, I try to, I try to recreate that experience or share that experience with other people. Um, I'm not trying to make any grand statements with my work. I just think that's kind of silly. Um, you know, it's like you, you stand up on a soapbox and everybody sort of turns their eyes because they have their own work, they have their own perspective of the world. And so I'm not interested in making statements or, or trying to tell you how to think. Because even in design, we try to tell people what to think, but it never actually works. Because interpretation is where meaning is created, not communication. And so. Therefore, I just create these situations and I, I just love that everybody else would have a different experience of it. Now, all that I ask is that people engage in that with an open mind, rather than say, what does this mean? 
It's like, well, what it means is how you feel. That's all. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Any other questions yeah. from anybody? Well, I'll get off my soapbox now. Okay. Thank you all for being here, and thanks again, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to the Andy Warhol Foundation. And also. thank you to the Andy Warhol Foundation. <laughs>